Hi everyone, Ariel Adams here with a blog to watch here interviewing Michaela Sofisti, CEO of Gerard Perigo. Michaela, thank you for speaking to us. Thank you, pleasure so, to be here. We're here in Miami for the launch of the new Seahawk and Chronohawk watches. Uh, just tell us a little bit about these timepieces and uh, what's new about them. But as you as you can see, as a as a new family of watches, we have created uh, a new uh, case design. Uh, I would say quite uh, modern and. Uh, uh, taking some of the roots of the company, like the octagon sh octagonal shape from the Laureato, the Sioka, uh, very recognizable by the crown at uh, 20, and uh, is a new collection. Of course, it's a chrono and as a diver, so automatically we say it's a sport watch, but uh, for us it's uh, representing a lifestyle, it's also possibly a new target of a clientele, uh, very dynamic, very, uh, again, maybe sporty. Uh, we will have also um, different materials. We will start with a steel version. Uh, we're going maybe in the future to ceramic or other materials. And also we will try to position the watch on a very aggressive uh, price point uh, really to allow, um, I would say, a kind of a large visibility for uh, future clients. Let me ask you, how does the new Seahawk compare to the old generation Seahawk? What's different about it and is it a different target audience? Basically, if you want, it's a more modern watch in the sense that the design of the case has a more element on it, which will give a certain flexibility on the aesthetic of the watch going from now to the future. Again, you can see here the bezel. The bezel can be done in different materials. The octagonal element underneath the bezel can also be in different materials. In this case, it's rubber. The case itself has a very, I would say, modern design construction with uh, different uh, angular shapes, which can be uh, worked on a polished mat uh, with different finishing. So all these will create uh, an enormous flexibility for the watch. The movement is the same movement as we had before, and uh, some details, again, the crown at the 20, is of course uh, a very, I would say, sign mark, landmark uh, for uh, for the collection and is the same as before. So that's the diver, so show us the new chronograph, the chrono hog. The new chrono, you see is exactly again, same case, the same construction, same octagonal, to create a really the same family feeling and uh, is based on a, a Jurapergo movement and uh, is going to be a new chronograph inside uh, our collection. We have already in the 1966, which is the very classic uh, uh, white gold, yellow gold, pink gold, we have already there a chronograph. This one is more, uh, as you can see, more modern design compared to a very classic one, which is the, the, um, the gold version of the 66. So how important are these sport lifestyle watches for the brand right now? You're known as a movement maker, a producer of fine classic watches, but sport watches are something that you've had for a while, but now it sounds like you're trying to bring back that image a little bit. How important is that for the brand? But I, think, I think it would be very important for different reasons. First, because with this collection, we are also coming with a shape uh, uh, which is a 44 millimeters uh, diameter, so it's a larger case construction, which is going to be, I think, more attractive for the Western part of the world, particularly for uh, United States and Latin America. Um, and second, again, sport, sport, but in reality it's lifestyle. So you can have, a, you can have a, an offer for people that maybe today cannot find their watch in, uh, inside the Gerard Perego collection. What is also, I think, interesting to know is that uh, we are going to simplify the entire structure of, the, of our collection. We are going to reduce the number of SKUs. We are going to uh, about, let's say, 120, 130 SKUs uh, in all the different families, but it will be very, very focused, very clear, very um, easy to be recognized at the point of sales because we will have the vintage for men and lady, the 66 for men and lady, and then the Hawk collection, the new traveler collection, which is going to be presented in a few months uh, before Basel, the cat's eye lady watch, and we are going to develop also a new feminine watch in the future. Mm. Plus, of course, the all high-end pieces, the famous tourbillons, the, the, all the complicated uh, uh, collection, which will be also put in a new round case to really create focus, create a, a very strong identification. Let me ask you a question. You said that you're reducing the number of products, the SKUs. Yes. A lot of brands seem to be doing that. Why is it there seems to be this big shift among 
many, many watch brands out there in reducing the amount of watches they have. So many of them are doing that. Why is that? I, I honestly, I, I don't agree with you that many brands do it. I think that in reality, most of the brands, they are uh, presenting new pieces, new pieces, new pieces. And I think that, uh, but we see the same thing in the car industry, just to, to take another industry. This is a little bit of a, uh, I would say the sickness of uh, those days where uh, we, we look for new things every second day. And uh, this is maybe a, a little bit of dan dangerous because it can really bring it to confusion in the point of sales, confusion for the final clients, right. uh, and the brand cannot really get out what they would like uh, to, to transmit as a as quality product. For us, it was a need. We had uh, a number of references which have grown uh, from the past to over 500 uh, SKUs. And uh, with those amount of SKUs, uh, definitely you are not readable for a, a point of sales, not for the final clients. At the same time, you create also a difficult to work in the in the in the factory, in the manufacturer, and uh, then comes uh, you are slow. Uh, maybe sometime uh, you lose uh, time, and uh, you are not uh, really right. uh, at the speed of the market. That makes sense. So, um, a, a sister brand of Gerard Perico is Jean Richard. Yes. And right now, you sort of uh, reposition the brand at different price points, slightly different models. Tell us a little bit about what consumers are going to expect from Jean Richard as, as a sort of new new segment it's entering into. Uh, Jean Richard, we, first, is, uh, is uh, an historical brand. It's even older than uh, Gerard Perregaux. Uh, has already a story behind it because Gino Macaluso, the founder or re-founder of Gerard Perregaux and uh, Jean Richard uh, did uh, an incredible work in the, in the past years. But uh, for whatever reason, again, in the past, uh, Jean Richard has uh, um, developed uh, such a collection that uh, it's difficult today to, to, to say what is a Jean Richard watch, because you have a tourbillon, you have a sport watch, you have a lady watch, and so on. So the, the, the question we asked ourselves last year, say what we need to do to create, a, again, focus and a simple, uh, impactful uh, communication and product. That's why we started from, I would say, almost from scratch from the logo and from the logo we have created uh, a new collection uh, we, which will be divided in the four family of products telescope aquascope aeroscope and the 1681 which will be the only piece with a jean richard movement uh, manufactured in uh, in la chaux de fond the other three collection will be totally swiss made industrial movement but it will be eta movement or a dubois de Pra movement or mm -hmm. similar and uh, thanks of that, we can reposition the brand to a more, I would say, interesting price for the, the development of the brand, which will give also the possibility to have a more point of sales, uh, to have, a, uh, I would say, a larger uh, reach of a clientele. I agree. It's a good decision. So uh, we, try, we try really to, to, to go in a different way and uh, create also a brand which has a um, philosophy of life as a tagline. And... Uh, uh, interesting people that will uh, be our ambassador. We, we have uh, a long relationship with uh, Frank Camas, who is uh, one of the most uh, famous uh, sailors in the, in the world, a winner of uh, many important races. And uh, we have uh, recently signed an agreement with uh, Sally Salimberger, who is the very famous pilot who landed in the Hudson River to, oh, yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to be Sully. our uh, Sally, exactly. Yeah, yeah. An incredible, incredible person. Uh, I have not yet met him uh, personally, but we had a video conference. And uh, just what he did is just putting him for a hair wow, that's as, as really the, the hero. The hero. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about on the movement side. People know yes. Gerard Perrigo is an excellent movement maker. He supply movements to some other very top brands. Yes. What types of developments are, are we going to see in that area? New movements, new types of... Uh, ah, we, have, uh, we have, honestly, we are working already on 2015, 2016. We have a lot, a lot of things in our pipeline. The, the, the first things that you are going to see next year uh, on the side of movement is uh, the constant escapement, which are fin uh, finally we have uh, terminated the, the most of the development, and we will be out in Basel with, uh, I would say, a very nice watch. We, we, are, we are working on a chrono integrated chronograph, the very first one for Azure Perigo. We are working on a lady manufactured watch on a very interesting movement, which is one of the uh, smallest in, in the industry, mm. uh, plus many other variations to be integrated in the existing collection. 
Uh, we are working also on a larger size uh, turbine. Uh, I mean, we have uh, quite a lot also, of Well, it sounds like there's a lot of good things yes, coming. Yes, quite a lot tell of. us about the watch you're wearing on your wrist right now and this, this particular partnership that uh, we, we all got an experience of this, uh, this week here in Miami. Yeah, the, the, this is a really particular watch, as you can see from, uh, from the aesthetic of it. Uh, and um, uh, we, we have a partner with um, a very famous artist, uh, uh, Mr. Sweetlove, William Sweetlove was created an uh, environmental project uh, uh, doing animals of a big size and dimension in resin and plastic. Um, and the project is also, it's called the Forever Glades because it's, it's going to give uh, attention <coughs> to the environmental problematic of the Everglades. Uh, so we had uh, yesterday a fantastic exhibit over the art piece and we dedicated this watch with a very special bracelet and a different dial to, to this, uh, this moment and we have uh, if I can say, we've used this opportunity to introduce uh, the rest of the collection. That makes sense. It's a cool piece, and that one's limited to how many pieces? This ten, one? ten pieces. Ten, just ten pieces. Ten so pieces. This cool uh, non-alligator alligator strap is uh, quite, quite limited. <laughs> uh, Michele, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much.